Do you want to learn how to script on Roblox in 2023? If so, you're in the perfect place because in this 14 part series, I'm going to be guiding you through everything you need to know about scripting. Today, we are going to start about printing. So, what is printing? Uh, I usually start out these videos by explaining the topic of the video, and uh, let's let's define printing. So printing is essentially writing a message to ourselves as developers. So you can now call yourself a developer as you're embarking on this world of scripting. It's really fun, so buckle up for some awesome content. Um, so printing, like I said, is kind of like writing a message to us as a developer. It's writing something that we can look at for specifically debugging. That's one of the scripting terms. Uh, if you get into programming, you'll hear people talk about debugging, and that just means fixing your code. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start with scripts and how we can actually even make a script um, and just even so that we can script it all. So what you're going to do is you're going to notice you have these icons in Roblox Studio. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link down in the description to a video. It may be from like 2020 or something, but it doesn't matter. It's still the same steps. So make sure you have that installed. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to server script service. Now, this is where I keep most of my scripts when I'm scripting. Um, it's because this is a good place to store all of your server cited scripts. We'll get into that in a future episode, server versus client. So make sure you're tuning in for uh, for these videos. But yeah, so what you're going to do if you hover over any of these things, these are called services, okay? So there's workspace, players, lighting, material service, all these things, and then there's server script service. If you hover your mouse over it, you're going to see this little plus icon. And if you click it, you can actually see a ton of different things you can put inside of your game. Now, for the purpose of this series, we're going to be focusing on scripting. So you can search up script and make sure it's not a module script or a local script. You you want a regular script and if you click it you'll notice that you're magically teleported into this world of code so congratulations you have made a script <laughs> so the way you can navigate between this is and your game are these tabs over here i'm kind of circling my mouse around so you can see it there's the script tab and then there's the base plate tab you can click these to go between your games so you can switch between the game here and the script here okay so that's how you navigate and um what is going on here you may be asking we have this weird print hello world we have lines we have like this blank almost spreadsheet sort of thing and we have now a script inside of server script service so there's a lot to cover real quick um, in a pretty short amount of time so first let me just show you quickly how you can name your scripts because this is gonna be something that you really want to do so how do you rename your script so this one's pretty simple uh, what you're gonna want to do and I actually should have mentioned that at first if you don't see these this Explorer where all these services are and this little window called properties you're gonna to want to open them and the way you do that is by clicking this view button up here and then you click Explorer and properties that's just to toggle them on and off as you can see I'm clicking and clicking and it goes on and off I would always keep these two on because they're gonna be super important in making games um, so properties kind of ascent like it deals with well the properties um, it kind of shows or tells you the different aspects of an item. So for example, the script, and by the way, if you want to open into a script for the first time, you could just double click it and that will open up this tab that you can then switch back and forth, exit out, double click again. So how can you rename this script? You can do it one of two ways. You can either click the name script and wait a second and it'll open that up right there so you can type something in and we can call this print script. But another way to do it is to go into the properties and down here you can see name inside of properties once you've clicked an item like the script right here you can change the name by just clicking that right there and giving it a name okay so now, now that we've gone over that and the essential components of switching between scenes and all that um let's go ahead and see what this is talking about where it says print hello world so how what, what is this even talking about you may ask and it's saying we're going to write a message to us as the developer we're going to write a message that says to us as the developer hello world why i mean it's just kind of a basic developer prompt it's it's kind of the thing that's been going on since the early days of development history that's just kind of the basic thing uh when you open up a brand new script it prints hello world it's just i don't know i don't know why it started if somebody knows the history of that please feel free to comment it below but yeah let's go ahead and see what this actually does. By the way, sorry about all those notifications up here. I've got that turned off. Okay, so how do we actually play our game? So there are two, uh, again, two ways you can do this. Uh, remember, 
these tabs from earlier where we clicked view well there's one called home there's home model avatar test view and plugins um, and if you click home you can see this big blue play button and if you click play you will notice that you will be transported into your own game and your avatar will load into the game that you've been making okay now the cool thing is if you come down to the output and I'm going to show you how to open that right now actually before we get ahead of ourselves just like with the explorer and properties you go and go to view and you're going to want to click this output button right here make sure it's open because this is essential for what we're going to be doing in this series always keep it open okay so yeah just always keep the output open um, um, and let's see, where were we going from there? All right, we were going to go ahead and go back to the home tab and hit play. So now that you have the output open, you're going to see this little message written to us in the output. And if you scroll up a little bit, it says, hello world. So as you can see, we as a developer can see this. Nobody else in our game can see this. It's really messages to us to let us know if things are working. Um, so yeah, we see hello world and we can know that our script is actually running because as soon as we joined the game, which is basically the same same as when this uh, print script loaded in. Yeah, it prints hello world, so we yeah know everything's working just fine. Now, let's go ahead and come back into our script, double click, and let's remove this whole thing. Let's just highlight it and hit delete. Um, scripts work in lines, so when you press enter, it drops down a new line, and you can write stuff on different lines, right? Uh, I'm just mashing a bunch of keys okay and uh, yeah as you can see we can write different lines and you're gonna have spacing and all that fun stuff um, pretty soon we're gonna talk about that but we have different lines we can drop down and write different parts of our code on uh, and again that's just by pressing enter and backspace to delete obviously so uh, we can in the first line where we just removed our print script we're gonna go ahead and write the word print Okay, so print, just as we saw, is a way to print things into the output. And the way we do this is by writing print and then an open and closed parenthesis. Okay, make sure you have these two right here. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Make sure you have these two right here. And if you want to zoom in and out of your own script, you hold control and scroll your mouse up or down. Um, so you have these two... Um, these two parentheses and you can print a number of things. I'm going to show you the basic things that you can print because we're going to quickly, before I end this first video, we're going to talk about the different data types. So have three prints ready, okay? And you can print, uh, have all three of them with that are empty right now just on three separate lines. And what you're going to do in the first one, I want you to put print a, and then quotation marks. So quotation marks, that's the first data type, and it's called a string. A string is any bit of text. So the words I'm talking right now, it's technically a string. Technically a string is a string, right? Because it's words inside of a string, and for code to know that you're talking about a string, you put quotation marks, okay? That's how you do it. So you can put whatever you want here. Uh, I'm going to put on, thank you for watching this video. Then you can have punctuation, you can have little smiley faces, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, so there you go, there's a string, that's the first data type. The next data type is called an integer, and an integer integer is just a number, okay? Just remember that an int or integer, same thing as a number without quotation marks. Uh, so you can type whatever number you want, let's just type one, because <laughs> why not? So that is an integer, okay? Now, quick thing to mention, these are two different things. String one and integer one are two different things because they're two different types of data. The string is like the word one. It's not the word one, but it is a string version of the letter one. Um, and then this is an actual number. And numbers, integers, we can actually do math with. So we can say like print one plus three. And if we actually play that and scroll up in the output, you can see... Let's go ahead and scroll up. We get four, okay? And we have, thank you for watching this video. So we have four printed because we can do math with numbers. And obviously you can do plus, minus the asterisk, which is the same as division, okay? I mean multiplication, so one times three. And division, there you go. Um, and those are the basic ones. There's obviously other math functions, but we don't really need to get into those right now. Uh, so let's just print four. So basically, you're just going to want to keep keep that in mind. This is not the same thing as this. This is an integer. This is a string. 
The last thing is a boolean, or shortened as bool, and a boolean is either true or false. Again, these are also not the same as strings, so you do not put them in quotation marks, you just write them out, and a computer just basically knows them as yes or no. Whoops. Sorry, this is old code. Alright, so computer, if you say true, it knows that as yes, okay, or true. If you say false, it means that, that that's false, incorrect, no, right? So um, later on, we'll say something like, if 1 plus 1 equals 2, then print true. Now, this is going to seem pretty out there for you guys because you haven't learned that yet. But just keep in mind, I'm just trying to show you guys that a Boolean is either true or false. And um, it's, again, not a string. These are all different types. All three of these are different types. This is not an integer or a Boolean. It's a string. This is not a string or a Boolean. This is an integer. And this is not a string or an integer. It's a Boolean. That's basically it. Um, and you can print different things to yourself uh, in certain circumstances. Like later, we're going to print. Uh, we can print the different players in the game so that we can figure out, hey, what's, gonna, what's going on? All that sort of stuff. But now, one more thing I want to show you. And I'm just going to mash a ton of buttons right now. And I'm going to hit play, and it's going to try and print whatever the heck I just mashed up. <laughs> and as you can see, it prints nil. Nil basically just means, hey, I don't know what to do, that doesn't exist, okay? So this is saying, I don't know what to do, you have not defined this, because it thinks, it is, see right here it says error type, um, it doesn't know what's going on, it just thinks that we are referencing this variable which we'll get into in a future video. So, if you wanted to print this huge thing, put it in quotation marks, right? You can totally do that, and that is once again a string. So that is printing. I hope you enjoyed episode one of this beginner scripting series. If you did and it was helpful, I'd really appreciate if you would smash that subscribe button, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, make sure that you uh, are staying tuned for the future episodes. Those will be coming out soon. Uh, links to whatever the video I was talking about at the beginning are in the description. Uh, if you need those but other than that that is going to wrap today's video thanks for watching make sure to join my discord server in the link uh, also linked in the description if you have any questions and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you in part two